All right, welcome back. So yeah, I'm I have not been following my one topic a day rule. Apologize for that. I yeah, I ordered a bunch of groceries and I got an extra four bags that I didn't order, and there was like junk food in those bags, so I ate it all, of course. Um, and yeah, I just feel kind of sick. So that's, I mean, clearly like it, it's just hard because like. You know, with the COVID-19 stuff, it's like, I don't even know if it's going to happen, to be honest. Am I even going to go? So it's just, it's really hard for me to take this exam as seriously as I need to take it. Because it's just, there's so many unknowns. Everything's so unstable. It's like, can I even count on the test center being open? Can I even? So it's just, it's hard to be motivated. I mean, it'd be hard even if everything were perfect, but... Um, it's even harder now, but let's keep going. I'm just going to do my best. Um, and, uh, I'm just going to have to understand that my best might not necessarily be my best <laughs> if there weren't, um, COVID-19 and all that sort of thing happening. Yeah, and then I usually do things weekday nights, too, that kind of keep me sane, and I haven't been able to do any of that because of COVID-19, so. <sighs> yeah, so right now, my best is definitely not my best, but let's uh, keep doing my best. Okay, so here's the, um, oops, it looks like I was already... Okay, so I will share my screen. All right, this is the lunchtime video. So we're going to keep going on this BGP attributes. Okay, so what I wanted to do is since this BGP attributes is a subtopic of BGP path selection. I wanted to do the lab that I found in BGP path selection here. Um, or I wanted to do to do the help documentation. So let's do that. Yeah, things have kind of bottomed out for me with with the uh, COVID-19. My weight the other day hit like 200, but or, or it hit like 211, 210, um, which I, I want to weigh 185. And for a while, I was at 200, 195 without too much issue. But the reason my weight peaked so much is because I got that extra order of groceries. So that's the worst part. It's like, it's not even technically my fault. I mean, yes, I, I ate them, but um, I didn't order them. And the reason I didn't order them is because I knew if I had them in my house, I would eat them. So I just essentially did the thing that I modeled my behavior um, so that I didn't do. It's just, there was a, 
a breakdown in that in that behavior because it, it depended on external circumstances that that did not happen the way I expected them to and and you know the whole reason I I set things up that way is because I knew I didn't have the so I guess I just got to think my, kind of reframe my mentality and, and just say this is no longer <clears throat> something I do ordering in my my groceries after carefully selecting them online it's no longer something I do because if I didn't do that I would eat junk food in my apartment if it exists in my apartment but I need to, to kind of get over that that mentality that if the junk food is in my apartment I'm going to eat it and I really need to get rid of unfortunately throwing away food donating it to a pantry um, I just need to kind of think of food differently because I, I think of it as, as kind of a vacation, like going to Disneyland. Um, but really, it's like going to um, some small town in, in Texas. It's really not um, exciting. It's not, it's not good for you. It's, it's like not... Uh, like, I mean, some food is, is definitely Disneyland, but... Doritos is definitely not. I don't know why I ate those. All right, so let's uh, keep going. So we've got eight routers. Um, so we can't look at this image during the exam. So I'm going to see if I can skip that. And hopefully they're giving me, nope, they're not giving me any. Uh, unfortunately, they're not giving me any descriptions, but I mean, I can tell what's hooked up to what just by the subnets. So I'm just going to go configure everything and then try to figure out what's hooked, to, hooked up to what just based on the subnets. All right, so let's start with router one, which is this whole section here. Okay, so router one is going to serve as the router flexor. So it's going to have router ID, and then it's going to have all of the IBGP neighbors in the topology. So it looks like there's only two, which is kind of interesting. So there must be multiple autonomous systems in this topology. <laughs> yep, I can see autonomous system two. Yep.
All right, time for order two.
All right, it's time for <clears throat> row to five. Um, yep, kind of um, gonna be this sort of video. I'll just be typing out this lab, so won't be a lot of talking or checking in. Um, there probably will be more if I weren't, <laughs> if I hadn't eaten junk food the last like four or five days and hitting a record on the scale. So I'm kind of low on energy, but as long as I can get this typed out, That'll be a huge win for me. Because yesterday I didn't even do anything. Remember the day before I skipped my after work video. Oh, God.
All right, so now it's time for the fun part. We're going to be uh, trying to cable these up. We got about 20 minutes to do so. All right, so let's start on letter one. Ah, here we go. So this is the kind of output I want to look at. Let's see if we've got any in the same subnet on the other devices. Okay, so we've got 15.2. And here we've got 15.1. So it's pretty clear what is required. If it would let me, if the terminal would let me use it. There we go. Okay, so three on right of one goes to zero on my phone. All right. And um, that's the only connections on router five, so we can close that. Okay, two six dot two. Okay, I don't need that yet. Take it one at a time. 37.2, nothing. Four eight, nothing. All right, so we're done with router one. Let's move on to router. Uh, well, let, let's check the, the other four routers. Let's check them all. The other three routers, the remaining three. Okay, so we've got dot one two and dot two six. Okay, so zero 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 on router one is going to plug it into zero 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 on router two. Oops, so it looks like router three doesn't have any addresses. And that's interesting because we see I did configure some. So you can see there are, if I were to take away this match, oh, is there a space? No. Huh. Oh, you know what? I bet you the FPC is not. Yeah, so there's an issue with the forwarding plane on router, on router three. So let's just give that whole thing a reboot. It'll be about six minutes, but we'll move on and uh, skip cabling this one up for now. Oh, it could have been that it's not cabled up. Is that the case? Nope, it's cabled up properly. All right, so hopefully a reboot will resolve that. Move on to router four. So it's going to be zero zero two 
to 001. All right, and now we already did five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so now let's have router two be the focal point. Okay, so we've got one to go on router two, and that's gonna be dot two six. Let's try to find it. Okay, so it's going to belong to router six, port zero. All right, so 14.2, let's see what this plugs into. All right, so it's going to plug into port two. Um, so port two, um, router one is going to plug into port zero on router four. Oh, you know what? I think I have it accidentally wired up. Yeah, so I, I accidentally wired it wrong. It's going to be port two to port zero. I accidentally wired up to port one. There we go. That looks a lot better. So now let's get it cable up to the port eight. So that's going to be router eight to zero. It's going to be one to zero. All right, perfect. Yep, so let's move on to have router five be the focal point. So it looks like router five done, everything's up. So we can move on to router six. Same thing for R6. Okay, so R7, it's a uh, dot three seven. We've got to plug that in. Oops, this isn't ready yet. Okay, so router seven. Oh, so this is router seven itself. I don't need to worry about that. It's not going to plug into that. So I'm thinking it's router three it needs to plug into. Yep, so it's going to be router three. Okay, so let's take it one by one here. So we're missing a link for 
network.13. Let's find that. Okay, so I think everything's pretty much good to go. Um, it's just because router three is down, we're missing a few connections still. So the dot three seven and the dot thirteen are going to go to router three. Okay, so I haven't been six minutes yet, so we'll wait for that. Oh my god! Oh man, I'm weak. I don't know. This whole COVID nineteen thing is getting really. I'm really sick of it. <laughs> and I'm in Texas too, so I'm especially sick of it. I want a real government. All right, so it's almost there. In the meantime, I think I can take a look at my tags and everything. Really won't be doing any Python in this video, so I'll take that out. Oops, this is also not necessarily troubleshooting. Yeah, it, it's BGP path selection. So, but I, I'm sure I'm, I'm going to be doing troubleshooting. So, I'll just leave that in there. Oh, I'm tired. Hey, jump for I'm 35. I can't be eating that anymore. And it wasn't even like super junk food, too. Just a lot of carbs. Uh, carbs and oils. It was definitely the standard American diet. But it wasn't like horrible. It wasn't like soda and stuff. Still pretty bad. It still messed me up really bad. And I still got some more of it too. I feel like a half bag of Doritos left. Okay, so I finally I'm up. Oops, and I accidentally closed one. Oops, so we still got that issue. Okay, so let's try uh, reconnecting that cable. So it should change from present. Ah, there we go. Okay, now it should change back to present and then hopefully um, change from there. See what it looks like on one that's working. Okay, it should change from present to online. Ooh. 
Yeah, so now it's online, we're perfect. Oh, it's online, but we're still having issues. So let's see what it looks like here. Ah, so we're uh, testing 100. So it looks like even though it's online, uh, it's still got a few more steps to go through. But replacing that cable did help. It's good news. Well, I'm running out of time, so unfortunately I wasn't able to get this all wired up, but <laughs> it's just like eating the junk food. It's, it's not entirely my fault. It's just, ah, there we go. Now well, let's see what we got. Oh, now it's in absent mode. But maybe it's working in absent mode. Ah, yes, absent mode is totally fine. So perfect. I'll be able to finish wiring this up. So router one, go, port one goes to router three, port zero. Perfect. Okay. And now router three, port one goes to dot two seven. Huh, there is no, ah, so I closed router two, so I would bet that it goes to router two. Yep, so router two, port one, goes to router three, port one. Oh, wait, never mind. It's dot two seven. What the heck? <laughs> what does two, dot two seven go to? Maybe it's meant to be dot two six, so I made a typo. Let's see if there's another dot two six. Yep, there's another dot two six. Maybe it's, it's meant to be three seven and I made a typo. Let's let's look. I bet you it's meant to be three seven. So here's three seven. Ah, yep. And it's meant to be three seven, not uh, two seven. So I'm going to cable these two up. So it's going to be R two port one to R3 port one. Oh wait, no, 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 no. R7 port zero to R3 port one. Okay, but I've got to reconfigure router three. All right, so now hopefully this is up. 
And I've got only about two minutes left, but that might be enough, especially if this commits and it comes up. Perfect. So all I'm going to do now is just rearrange these so that it, it makes a little bit more sense. Um, ah, here we go. So yep, we've got things branching off. So yeah, I think this, this looks a little bit better. Um, it's more clear um, how everything is. I'm, I'm kind of surprised that there's, no, that there's a connection here and there's no similar connection there. That I'm, I'm surprised by how asymmetrical it is. But um, I mean, that's what it's calling for. So that's what we'll go with. So, um, okay, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.